Welcome my fellow gamers and going medieval fans to a totally new let's play about 10 super settlers manually created and set loose on the largest map size and hilly terrain. My name is Peter and I have heavily specialized these settlers using the new advanced customization options from the second content update, Merchants and Diplomacy. I have already showcased this content update in a previous video, link up here and in the description. So now I will make the most of it to design a new type of a village. My previous two let's plays were about building an underground village and one with several keep-like multi-level buildings, but this one will be totally different. It will feature a central building, both under and above ground, with many workplaces, while the villagers will be living in single bedroom huts of sorts spread around the main building. How will I defend this village? How will the specialization of settlers impact village growth and construction? Will merchants and caravans be of use? These are all questions I hope we can answer together during this newest Let's Play. As with the previous episodes, I value your ideas and suggestions and invite you to give me as many of them as you have. I will incorporate them in future episodes and of course credit you for them. We are going to skip my hour-long settler customization and jump right into settler management on day one. Naturally, I will pause the game as soon as it starts and go through the three settler management tabs – Manage, Schedule and Jobs. The Jobs tab takes the most time to edit according to villager specialized skills. Almost every one of them has one main skill at level 40 with no stars and a few other skills with low levels but double stars for fast learning. The only two settlers which will mainly do steward and hauling jobs are the ones specialized in speechcraft and bartering and the designated warrior. In the manage tab I set everyone to the aggressive state, give them weapons depending on their skills, marksmen or melee, fighters get armor, shields and helmets, the rest get caps. The schedule is the simplest one, at least on day one. This is because I have all hands on deck, or should I say dirt? and working until they construct everything I have planned out until the first night's sleep. After setting up all of that, we need to look over the map. I need to check out what is the best place to start building my settlement. I do need to turn off the trees so I can see the terrain better. So here's iron, coal, lots of limestone, more coal, more clay. So here in the middle, I do have those resources. As for the food that they would be picking up, there are some mushrooms here. There is a large amount of red currant bushes over here. I will have red currants over here, here, iron over here, coal, these tall grasses for hay. So this is actually an okay spot. Plus I'll have the different terrain level. Actually, this is a ditch. This is a huge ditch here. They could use that to some effect I suppose but in any event I think I'm going to start with the main structure being for example here and then have the small homes around it like so because I want to have like a real village with a center rather than all the other designs I have made before and if you're interested in some of my previous designs and ideas for village settlements you can check out the video up here that's gonna show up let's start with designing the very first well actually no because i won't have the beams researched so maybe i should go with the basic research table and something above it to just start that up and then i'll move it later yeah maybe that would be best idea so that i can actually make those beams that i'm going to need for that open space area in the middle where they are going to have all sorts of stuff so the table and just to cover it with a simple roof. That's gonna work out that way. They are going to build it really fast. Now these resources are going to start being destroyed by the environment and decomposing. So in order to prevent that, and because they'll do that really quickly, I'm actually going to put down some flooring. And because the only material that I have is wood right now, I'm going to have them do it out of wood. So I don't want this, 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 and the food that's over here, raw food. The other weaponry and stuff they'll pick up. Whatever they don't pick up, I'll put some flooring under and over here. Yeah, so it's a bit of a different start than I usually do. So you should find it interesting to watch. Let's see. 
they should get going with that. Yeah, they're putting on clothing and armor. The ones I've set up to wear those at least. So there does seem to be one good wool gamson left over. So I should give it to somebody to wear armor. Yeah, because I have wooden armors and I have those woolen ones. You and you can wear armor additionally. So that should be picked up and that as well. Okay, and what does that leave? Yeah, everything is protected now from rotting. Although it's not protected because of the weather, but at least because of the ground, it is protected. All right, and start working on this. Go with forever person over here. He has intellect at 40. And now I can unlock here. So available 30. So I've just unlocked architecture and I will also unlock agriculture just so I can start planting immediately. And if this is the middle of the village and the homes are here, I'm going to have them actually farm right about here. The main things that I'm going to need to start with are definitely not tall grass nor red currant shrubs. Herbs not that necessary at the beginning either because I can't cook those advanced meals or make anything else that requires herbs like beer. So what I'm going to start with is just flax and cabbage to make things simple. So let's go with cabbage field this big and then have some well barley I should do that barley as well so flax and some barley and then over here I'll do some more of the same a lot more cabbage and that should cover it at least for the starters so that is about it when it comes to this area and they should start working on that but before that I need to design the main structure here in the middle and I have unlocked the wooden beams just for that purpose. So let's see if I want to keep it going in line with this. Let's start over from here. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's the highest length this can achieve. Then I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is going to be at 6, at 10, and then again I'll go 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, if I do this one here, then I'll have to add one over here, and that's kind of going to change the plans here, but that's okay. So let's go, yeah, that's going to intersect, I need to remove this one, and place these, these, and these, and then down here, let's go with one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that's another area over here, and that should about finish it, although I would like to have an additional over here, so I don't even need to count it out, I can use the grid, there we go, okay, so I think that will be enough for starters. And uh, I do need to cover some ground and I need some roofing. Although, in order to prevent myself from roofing it and then tearing down the roof later, because I will probably want to have a second floor here, I'll just go with wooden flooring right now. This is going to cost a lot of wood and that's not going to happen straight away. So, because I just need them to sleep, during the first day and out of rain, I'm gonna go with hay beds in this area and two more that's 10. And this is the area that I'm actually going to put some wooden flooring on just to cover it and the rest will come later. So that about does it. And I think I will have enough starting resources because I've brought a lot of wooden piles with me to start this map, but if necessary, I can always cut more. I think that about covers it, so I will let them run at speed 2 and see how they are going to go with this. So yeah, he's researching, they're building, the beds should be ready by tonight, as well as should the coverage over here. Now to cook new food, I am going to need that as well, so let's go down one level, actually a few levels more, just to get to this area and a campfire that's gonna be over here which immediately means i need a stockpile for 
dumping stuff and I'll dump that let's say over here somewhere where the coal is at so caucuses but not deer hair or wolf just the bones that will do the trick and I can say production start forever without using wood so sticks and coal and for that I do need to pick up some sticks so I need to allow the sticks in my vicinity let's see are there any more nope I don't see any okay so to get more sticks let's try with these if there are any close ones that can be cut easily so let's see that 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 I'm not going to be picking up any mushrooms because I want to spend that cabbage first to reduce the amount of stuff I have to a roof over so it doesn't go bad and that should do the trick for the starters I still have 50 wood 200 wood or so and I do have a lot to be built so that should be enough for now so the beds are already made the roofing is soon going to be done the person who needs to cook has already started cooking the person who's researching is already researching so this is 100% efficiency, this is 100% efficiency, this has been planted, this is being planted and now I need to move that stuff from there over here. Let's see where is the best spot, well I guess I can just move it in between the beds because this is the area that's been covered, although let's see how much wood do I have left, 50. Yeah I can cover a lot more with that, so let's check out how much can I cover. Let's see, yeah, not a whole lot, let's cover this much, and then, although I do have a lot of these underneath, although I'll get rid of those anyway, I will need a stockpile, it's gonna be right underneath, there we go, and that stockpile is going to hold, with high priority, food, meals, and raw, as well as, no, stimulants don't really need to be covered against rain. All right, textiles, all right. Warfare, apparel, medicine, yes, and books. That should do the trick. And as for their drinks, I'll have them put them here. So clear all, just leave stimuli. I think that about covers everything that's here, except maybe the mechanical components. I think I needed those as well. So material manufactured, Mechanical components, there we go. That should cover everything now. And now I can start removing these using the K key, if I'm not mistaken. Idle. Okay, if you're idle, you can start cutting down some trees. So let's find some dead trees around me and cut those first. Okay, that takes care of that. Have they finished moving everything? Yeah, they have moved everything and there wasn't enough space left over. So I'll need to cover a bit more here with wooden plotting and then extend this over here at 20 hours i have almost finished moving all the goods under a roof they do have a roof above their heads they are not sleeping in homes so they will be sleeping outside for today i am going to need entertainment for tomorrow so let's start building that right now Beckman tables i'll put them over here i think i'm going to need two because i have 10 settlers I'm going to need a shrine for one faith and a shrine for the other faith. That actually takes a lot of wood, which I don't really have that much wood, so that's going to take a while to get ready. Has the food been moved yet? No, not all the food has been moved yet. Okay, but they should be able to do that soon. Have I placed? No, actually I haven't placed the wood tiles here. That is something I totally forgot to do. So that needs to take priority. Yeah, but they already... Hmm. I hope somebody does these sooner than these. No, nope, they are doing these. Yeah, I would much rather if they had done these first. But I forgot to place them. So that's my fault. But I think they should be able to do this quite quickly. If they have enough resources. There we go, they are building them. So yeah, that should be done quickly. It won't damage too much hit points on these things. Nope, that was fast. Okay, 
So not enough resources for making food because there are only six cabbages left. Excellent. So now what I'm going to do is to make them stop eating packaged meals because I don't want these to be spent. I want them to be saved for any days. So I will have 29 stews, which is plenty. And as soon as they start eating that, I can start gathering mushrooms. 23 hours, they are totally exhausted most likely. Let's check out as they're sleeping. Yeah, they're not actually totally exhausted, 37%, so that's okay. They might not even take 8 hours of sleep to get better. Although, I do think I have a few night owls here, so I need to change their schedule to reflect their traits. But that's really not my high priority on the first day. So, let's see, who are the people who have this? The first one, who else, who else? W Luyel Yeah, I'm not gonna try. So you there's a early riser and that's it. So you and you are night owls, meaning sleep recovery speed is faster and sleep duration can be lower. So yeah, you're already going to be having enough sleep compared to the other folk, although the other folk seem to be not far behind either. So it's two. And your schedule needs to change, so you are going to get up at 3. So you're gonna wake up at 3. Now I'm gonna go with one more hour of sleep, so... But not for you. And then the other ones won't, although one more person will. So you will. And then what was it with the other trait? You can sleep less, but also work less. Okay, so for you, you're going to start working at three as well and the next time you're going to sleep will be a bit different than everybody else so they're going to work for one two three four five six seven eight hours and then they're going to sleep for four hours so currently that's gonna be for everybody but i'll customize it and leisure time is gonna be here two hours and then i'll have you do Work for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hours. Actually, it should be eight hours. So, gonna be like this. Although the night owls would rather work during the night more and sleep less. So, they should actually have a moved schedule like this. So, here, work so. And then work one, two, three, four, five six seven eight and only go to sleep at this point but i'll change that during tomorrow not during today because i still need them to sleep a little bit then work then have some fun and maybe i should move the fun sooner because they probably already are deprived yeah so for today only they'll have three hours here and then tomorrow it's going to be just before bedtime so this is actually going to be work time and here as well work time Okay, and then the other sleep schedule for four hours will be about here, but for the people who are night owls will be much more over here in the morning. So two hours and let's check out your sleep. Yeah, you're almost full. Some are less so. So that's exactly why you're going to be sleeping for another hour and then another hour for the rest of them while the ones that have slept enough they're going to wake up sooner and that's these three so they'll wake up one hour earlier than the others and the others will have one extra hour although not everybody needs that hour for example this one does not need that hour so yeah but it's already started that hour so i'll leave it and then mess with that schedule a bit more later but for now i think this is all covered this is fine it's not going to go to waste they have been covered so they're not sleeping under the rain or anything they are going to get slept in the open when they wake up and that's a given slept outside not in the open slept outside slept in an uncomfortable bed will change that deprived of religious that's going to be changed soon okay so i don't really need to there's gonna be left here because it's only six that's unfortunate okay so let's increase the size of this a little bit more like so what too far from a stable structure are you did i forget what exactly did i just do here wait what how did i mess this up 
I did not even notice that I clicked there. Okay, so let's see. This should take the wooden beams in half. Yeah, they're now in half. And I can now put a wooden beam here. Yeah, I did not even notice doing that. There we go, it's fixed now. And we can fix this up. Extend this down to here. And then have some floating here. All right. Now let's use the second day to make some singular homes for these folks. Although, do I have enough wood for that? Probably not, but I'll have them pick up lots of it. So let's first pick more hay because I'll need it for roofing. And then I'll need an actual stockpile. Stockpile all of that. So let's go with very high, clear, material, raw hay. And I will need wood which i will actually transfer from here because it's constantly being used up it does really need to be fit over here and be out of the elements because it's not going to rot faster than it's going to be used up this is actually also in the open but i don't think they will mind too much okay so that's when it comes to that i'll just need to let them collect that a little bit and then see about planting some new trees for the future let's do bit of a forest over here and here and here okay yeah I'm not spreading it around as I did in my previous playthroughs because I am changing things up a little bit over here as for the food that's down to 25 stews and I could pick up some of these at this point let's see let's use this tool okay so let's see about getting some additional trees which are mature cutting them down and getting enough wood for all the little homes that I have planned on building. Okay, how is the wood now? At 600. Okay, excellent. Yeah, the idle one is probably the builder. So let's give him something to build. I want small homes, which are gonna be all around here. So let's start from here. I am going to try and design each one a little bit differently. So just to give it that village feel. But each one is going to be for one single person so that they will gain the highest bonus for having slept in their own home so like this and then i'm gonna go up then to the side then over here then like so have a doorway here i oh wait i forgot windows need some windows to make things a bit nicer there we go and that one too and instead of those add some windows Okay, and finish this off in here. This should provide enough room for a bed and everything else that's necessary to be inside, like a brazier later on. So let's... Oh, wait, have you researched enough points for furniture? Yes, you have. Excellent. So let's unlock that. Go back to this. Put in a hay bed. So we'll put the bed because this is the door. The bed is going to go next to the window, like here. And that's going to be a sleeping room, but it needs a roof. And I'm gonna go with attached roof. Let's see. This can always be a little bit tricky to cover everything in a single go. That's not gonna work. But if we go like this, that's gonna work. And then for this, nope, not like that. But we can use, I think, this option. There we go. So that's gonna be completely roofed. It has a door. It has a bed. I don't think I really need to go with the floor yet. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I don't really need to go with the floor. Okay, so that's going to be my first home. And then I'll build a lot more of these around here. Now, I'm really hoping that one of these days, the developers are going to update it so that these folks can actually marry, have a family. And my kid is just calling me, so I'm going to cut this, well, at about the right length. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for more.